At this point, you've simplified your algorithm to calculate the difference down to just three lines of code. That's good, but we can do even better. We can get it down to just one line of code. In this exercise, we'll finalize our revisions to the difference algorithm and put it all together to calculate the score and display it to the user. Along the way, you'll learn about an important Swift concept, the difference between variables and constants. Let's dive in. All right, so we're back here in Bullseye and we're taking a look at our implementation for points for current round. And what we do here is we subtract the rounded value, which is basically wherever the slider is from our random target. And that's the difference. The problem is it can be either positive or negative, and we want to make sure it's always positive. So what we've done currently to solve that is we check if it's less than zero, and then we multiply it by negative one. That's fine, but there's a, you know, this is actually a mathematical concept. Whenever you have a number that could be positive or could be negative, and you want to just get the value of that number in a way that's always positive, that's something that's known as the absolute value. And it's such a common thing that there might be something inside Swift that might help us with this. Just like there was some a built-in function to get a random number that we used earlier or a rounded value of a number that we got earlier. So let's dig in our developer documentation to see if there's anything that might help us. So the way we do this again is go to help developer documentation and we're gonna look up int. And to save time, I'm just gonna command F and type in abs for absolute value. And sure enough, there is a whole section on that that'll help us, including this function here called abs. And there's even a discussion on using it. So this is actually a function and not a method. And the way you just run it is, is by so. You kind of like we did print. Um, it, didn't, it wasn't part of a class. It was just on its own. Then we can just do abs and in parentheses, we put whatever we want to get the absolute value of. So now that we know how to use it, we can go back to our code and we can just put this inside abs to get the absolute value, and that removes the need for this entire if statement. And we're down, 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 down to just three lines of code. All right, so we have it down to three lines of code, but we have a warning on every single line here. And earlier in this course, I said we would talk about this later, and now's that time. <laughs> so basically what's going on here is we get an error message that says a variable rounded value was never mutated. Mutated means changed. And it says, consider changing to let constant. And it says, replace var with let. And this leads me to an important discussion on exactly this. What is var, what is let, and how do they compare? It turns out that Swift makes a distinction between variables and constants. As we discussed in the episode on variables, you can change the value of a variable at any time. However, once you set a constant, you can never change it again. If you try to change it, the Swift compiler will give you an error. The keyword var creates a variable, while let creates a constant. In the first versions of your algorithm, you declared the difference as a variable because the value could change depending on your if-else statement. But in the latest version, once you calculate the difference or the awarded points, they will never change again. So they could really be a let or a constant rather than a variable. When you declare a value that will never change in Swift, it's better to make it a constant with let. This makes your intent clear, which in turn helps the Swift compiler understand your program better. A good rule of thumb is to prefer to use constants with let as much as possible and only use variables with var if you know you need to change the value later on. That way, the Swift compiler can optimize your code as much as possible. In fact, that's why we've been seeing all these warnings in Bullseye so far. It's because Xcode noticed that in some cases, we've been using var to declare variables, but those variables actually never changed, so we could have used let, and it helpfully notified us about that. So let's go through and update those variables to constants, which should resolve all of our warnings and get Bullseye in a clean state. Okay, so to fix this, we're, we're basically gonna do what these tooltip recommends. We're going to, instead of using var, since it doesn't change after we set it the, that initial time, we're gonna mark it as let instead. This lets the Swift compiler optimize our code so it runs faster and it's just kind of the best practice to do. So we can either change it ourselves manually or sometimes when you get a warning like this, Xcode will actually have a fix it button you can click to actually fix it for you. And it's sometimes handy to do that to save yourself a little bit of typing. So we're now, all three of these are now let's. And let's see here, we still have one more warning up here for this one, which is the same thing happening. Basically, we create this rounded value. We set it once, it never changes again. So it really could be let instead. So if I build, everything still builds fine. 
and we're good to go, but we're following a best practice of using let as much as possible.